What's going on, O-Doers, and welcome back. So let's talk about staying connected, because no matter how big or small your team is, clear communication is key. In Odoo, that's where Odoo Discuss comes in. It's a built-in messaging hub designed to make collaboration seamless without needing any extra tools. You can chat one-on-one, -on -one, hop on a quick voice or video call, or use channels to keep the entire team in the loop. Think of channels like a group chat, but much smarter. You can set up a public channel for your entire company to follow, for company announcements or all hands messages, or we can even create a private channel just for our sales team, maybe the project crew, or even a temporary task force. And it's not just about blasting messages. Odoo Discuss lets you control visibility, tag people directly, pin important information, and keep threaded conversations organized so you're not digging through a pile of notifications to find what matters. So let's jump into our database now, and I'll walk you through how to set up a new channel, customize its privacy settings, and start using it to streamline your internal comms. Whether you're planning a product launch, syncing across departments, or just sharing lunch ideas, Odoo Discuss keeps everybody connected. All right, so I'm here on our main Odoo dashboard, and no matter where I am in Odoo, whether I'm deep in the inventory app or just checking reports, I can always access my messages by clicking on the speech bubble here in the top right corner. From here, I can view all the conversations at a quick glance, but if I just want to see updates from channels I follow without any distractions from direct messages, I can click on this channels tab right here. That filters everything down to just group communications. We also have more info on direct messaging in a separate video, so we're going to shift our focus back to channels. To manage or create new ones, we're going to head into the Discuss app. And inside the Discuss module, you'll find your channels listed here on the left sidebar. And you'll see I'm already a part of the general chat as well as sales and admin. Whenever a channel name is bold, just like this one here, that means we have unread messages waiting for us. So when we click into general, we can see we had this unread message from Mark Demo. And since this is a public channel, that means everybody in the company can see and join it. It's great for things like general announcements, office policies, or just, you know, water cooler chatter. And by default, this sidebar shows the channels I've already joined. But if I wanted to browse all the channels in the database, I can simply click this gear icon here next to channels. And that brings me to a full list of the public channels. And hey, while I'm here, I want to stay in the loop for our executive meetings. So let's go ahead and join the board meetings channel. All I need to do is click that join button on that channel's card and just like that, I'm in. Now, let's say I'm part of a channel that's no longer relevant to my day-to-day -day work. Leaving it is just as easy. All I'd have to do is click the leave button on the channel card and I'm out. So for example, let's go ahead and do that for our sales channel right here because our team is moving towards more focused topic specific discussions. And while we're at it, since we're reorganizing things, let's spin it up a bit and create a brand new channel. So there are a couple ways we can do that. One way is clicking the new button right here on the left, which would open up a new form for us to create a new channel. Or I can use the breadcrumbs to get back to the Discuss dashboard. Here we are back on the main screen, and you might have noticed this plus sign next to channels. This is another shortcut for creating or searching for channels. So let's go ahead and click on it. And when I start typing, a box will start to pop up. And this is Odoo trying to match my text with any existing channels. So if I type in sales, it shows up here in the drop down menu. But let's back that up. And I'll show you how to create a brand new channel from scratch. All I have to do is type the new name for the channel I'd like and then click create. So I'll type in secret sales project and then click create. So once I type that in, it appears on the channel right here. And let's give it a quick description so anybody who joins it knows what it's about. So I'll just put new website strategy. Then I'll click enter and just like that, our new workspace is ready to go. And up here in the right corner, we have a little group of avatars and this icon represents our members button. When I click on it, I can see that I'm the only one in this channel since I just created it. But to add new people, all I have to do is click this invite user button. 
and I could simply just search my teammates and add them manually. And sure, I could try to remember every single person on the sales team and invite them, but let's be real, that's a lot of clicking. A quicker way to do this would just be clicking this link down below and copying it. And then we could drop that shareable link into a small group email or internal post. That way your team can join with just one click. No one needs to type out all the names. But wait, there's an even easier way to make sure no one gets left out. Let's head to the channel settings. And to do that, we'll just hover over our channel name and then click this gear icon directly next to it. And we're in. Now that we're in the settings, let's scroll down and take a look at our privacy tab. This is the area where we can control who's allowed to join or even see the channel. And here in the authorized group section, this is set to internal users, which means that anybody in the company can follow along and participate. And if we wanna make this more of a restricted space, let's say we wanna turn this to a creative related channel, we can switch the authorized group to something like, let's say creative design team, and now only users who are part of that rule will be able to access this channel. Everyone else, they won't even be able to see it. Now on the flip side, if I want external users like clients, contractors, or vendors to join, I can even leave this completely blank. And that opens up the channel to anyone who has the invitation link, just that we saw earlier. So whether it's a confidential internal group or an open collaboration space, Odoo gives you the flexible controls to manage visibility with just a few clicks. All right, for now, I'm going to set the authorized group back to the regular internal users. And this way, any employee in my company, regardless of their access level, can view and join this channel. I also wanna make sure that the right people are automatically added to this channel. And to do that, I'll just find the auto subscribe groups field and we can add the sales slash administrator group. And that means anyone in my database who has an employee record linked to the sales slash administrator group will now be auto added to this channel. No need to invite them manually. Super easy. Okay, now I'm happy with the settings. So I'm just going to click this automatic save cloud icon right here. And that saves all the changes that we just made. And if we take a look at the members tab now, look at that. I can see all of my sales admin team members are now a part of this channel. Quick update though, Mark is actually transferring out of the sales department tomorrow and moving to the support team. So I'll go ahead and remove him now by clicking the trash icon directly next to his name. And done. Now I can use the breadcrumbs to get back to the main discuss dashboard. And just like that, I'm ready to start sharing updates, ideas, and info with my team in our brand new secret sales project channel. All set up in just a few clicks thanks to Odoo Discuss. And there you have it. Channels in Odoo Discuss are a fast, flexible way to keep your team connected. Whether you're sharing company-wide updates or starting a new focus project thread, Odoo gives you full control over who's in the loop. Don't forget to check out our other videos to learn more about direct messaging, voice and video calls, and just how to keep communication seamless across your company. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video, doers.